Guess when it comes to EDC, the sky's the limit. There's so many different things that are out there. You know, one thing that I typically carry is my flashlight. I carry my knife and I carry my phone, my billfold, you know, those normal things that we all carry. But one of the things like about the flashlight is before I started carrying a flashlight, I didn't really see a need to carry it. But once I started carrying it, I found that it made life so much easier. Uh, having a light in your pocket, being able to see, even in low light situations. So we're gonna take a look at some unique different EDC items. I just happened to get in the mood. This is gonna be a totally different video than anything that I've done lately. And so it's just a lot of different, very innovative EDC items. Some I found here and there. Most of them I just purchased. There were a couple of things that had been sent to me, but yet I still use them. And so just gonna check it out. Just kind of a different thing. But one thing I do wanna mention before we get started is my brother is a fisherman and he's been fishing for all of his life. He loves to fish. And actually he's pretty good at it. He's even done guide work for Orvis. He likes to buy good quality stuff, but he'll use it until it falls apart. And he's not a gearhead. He doesn't like all this stuff. And you may be someone that sees no need in any of this. But guys, the EDC market is growing, it's huge. And so I just thought it would be fun just to show some things. There may be something that piques your interest. And if you're really into EDC gear, I think you're really gonna like this video. There's a lot of cool things we have. Guys, if you can think it up, there's probably somebody out there that's designed it. I mean, there's a lot of different tools for EDC. And EDC's become so big that small companies can get started and bring out a product and really be able to make some money on it. That's the beautiful thing about capitalism. I mean, it gives us a lot of choices. Now, again, you may be like, I don't care about any of this stuff. I just like my basic knife and flashlight. I understand that. But there are a lot of guys that like something different. And guys, to be honest with you, I've done so many different type reviews. I just really wanted to do something different. But this does pertain to EDC. It pertains to being prepared on a daily basis. So we're just going to look at a few things. Something might pique your interest. Well, guys, this is something that kind of piqued my interest recently. I was in Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, this is the Gerber Armbar Drive. One thing that's been big and something that I've kind of take note of is that there's a lot of drivers that are out there to be able to fit these small little bits. There are so many times where, you know, you can use a bit, whether it's Phillips head, flathead, Torx. I mean, there's a ton of different drivers. And so this makes it really cool to be able to use that. Uh, this comes all the way out and you can use it to drive whatever, tighten up a screw, you know, unscrew something. Also, you can take it out. It has the flat head on the other side and it's magnetic so it stays into place. And you can put other bits in here as well, even one-sided bits. Here I have just a standard one-sided bit. It'll fit in there. So if there's something in particular you want to have a little small kit that goes with it, you can do that. But I just think that this is a really cool little tool. It's very small. Now, it also has a number of other tools. In fact, I believe there's seven. Uh, we also have a knife, and it's just a straight edge knife. It's two and a half inches in length. It is a lock blade right here. Just press it, and you can close it. And then here, we have a small awl, and also we have a pair of scissors. And these are actually spring-loaded scissors, which I really like. So um, you can cut that. Let me go ahead and bring this back. These do not lock on this outside. But here, we've got a good pair of scissors, so it makes it really nice, especially for more of an urban type situation. But, you know, we're always cutting things. Uh, right here, you can pull this out. Uh, this makes a bottle opener here, but it's also a pry bar, so you can get this under something and pry it up. Uh, also, on the back side of this is an impact or a hammer, it's what they call a hammer, so I can take and get some leverage and just tap it. There's not a lot of weight to this, so it's going to have to be something really small. But it's just one of those things you can just slide in your pocket instead of carrying a standard multi-tool if you don't necessarily need a pair of pliers. And it has this anodized finish on it, the orange, but they also make it in black. So there's a number of different ones. It's just pretty cool. I think these run about $29. They also have one with a corkscrew here. So this is the Gerber Armbar Drive. This is the Gerber Prybrid, <laughs> kind of like hybrid. Uh, this is a small little multi-tool. What I really caught my eye, honestly, was this little razor. Uh, it's like an X-Acto razor, a number 11. These are replaceable, obviously. And you can keep this in your pocket, especially if you're cutting boxes or doing some kind of small cutting. You push in on the button, pull it out, and so it's, it's safe. And then you have to push it down to bring it back down. 
Uh, I think this is an aluminum body here, and then we have a steel pry bar at the end. Has a nail puller, has a wire stripper. We also have a bottle opener. You know, one thing I've had people ask before, they said, every one of these tools has a bottle opener. What the heck? Well, it's just real easy to add. And so then you have another tool. Uh, and then, of course, you have your paracord pulled around it. But uh, this is just something kind of unique. I think these run about $23. I'm not positive. Uh, but, you know, you can unscrew these to be able to replace your blade. But it gives you a little bit of a pry bar, and you can cut with it. Next, we have the Teal Designs. This is the pry bar. They make a number of different pry bars, a lot of different configurations. Uh, this one just happens to have the pocket clip. They have some with an integral ring and some other things. Uh, and then this one has the drivers. And this was the reason why I really like this one in particular. Uh, the driver is here. Of course, you have your pry bar and you have a bottle opener. And then we have a little paracord uh, knot or lanyard at the end. The clip is very nice. Uh, but this gives you a way to have your bit, a quarter inch bit. You can take it with these O-rings and it'll actually hold this into place when you put it in here. And then you can use it to be able to unscrew, screw, do whatever you need to do. And you can replace it with different type bits. I think these are DeWalt bits, so they're pretty strong. Uh, but this is just something that if you need a driver, it's just a way to have it. And then you can have your pry bar as well. But another just really cool design and I th I'm not really sure. I believe these run about $50, I think. Um, and actually, all of this stuff I would just purchase. So there was a couple of things, and I'll point that out, that I didn't purchase that I was sent. But most of this stuff, I just got online and said, I want some cool stuff. <laughs> now, this is the V2 Precision Driver. And it's pretty much just a driver, but it's just really cool. This is probably the most ornate piece that I got out of the whole crowd. Uh, this was a collaboration between JW Knives and Combat Beads. And one of the things about this has an opening. This is actually solid copper. It was taken from one piece of copper and then milled down. You have a frag kind of effect here at the top. And you'll notice right here is a wheel that actually turns. It's on ball bearings, but it's actually on skateboard ball bearings. And you can, act, you can actually replace this by taking this out and replacing the ball bearings if you need to, or you can clean it. Uh, and then you can take your driver, it's magnetic tip, so it goes in here. And then as you turn it, because that ring turns, it makes it really easy to turn. Uh, as far as a driver, I really like this. Uh, but it's really beautiful design, and of course with it copper, this was actually with the antique copper, you can get it in just standard copper. And you can get it in a number of other different designs, probably, I think you can get this in titanium, and of course steel and some others. Uh, but then you can just take your different bits, and this comes with three bits, comes with a T8 Torx, comes with a flathead and a Phillips head bit. But you could carry a small kit with this, and you could pretty much have whatever you need. And one of the things about these bit drivers is if you're out on the range and your scope starts to kind of, <laughs> it comes loose or whatever, which we've had that happen before, uh, this allows you to be able to, you know, make repairs right there while you're out in the field. And that obviously includes all the different drivers that I'm showing. But these are a little more pricey. Uh, I think these run about $99. I've seen them up to $155 if you get a lot of different ornate, uh, especially the titanium or the different finishes on it. So while this is not cheap, it sure is cool. And this is really made to be used not to sit, uh, you know, <laughs> in a box. But one thing about it, it does weigh about 4.6 ounces. So it's fairly heavy, uh, but it's three quarter inches in diameter and it's just solid. Now this is the Griffin tool. And I've had a number of Griffin tools over the years, but this one is a, the Adventure tool. It's one of their newer ones. Uh, the one thing about the Adventure tool is it has an integral carabiner right here. So it presses down, you can hook it to different things, and then you can unhook it, so it makes it easy to be able to pull on and off. Uh, Griffin Tool has been around for a long time. In fact, Casey, who owns Griffin Tool, is a good friend of mine, uh, he was the manager at Going Gear before, and uh, started out on his own with this company, and he has done extremely well. There are a number of different types that they do and different sizes, but this again is the adventure tool. And there's different kind of materials. They use copper, titanium, brass, and so you can check that out on the Griffin Tool website. And it's actually Griffin Pocket Tool. Now this one has, of course, a pry bar here and a nail puller. Uh, the little stratia lines here represent 1 16th of an inch. You have a Phillips head screwdriver here, but you can use these the pry bar as a flathead screwdriver. And then you have 
places here where you can put bits all the way down and it'll take different size bits and you have a quarter size bit here so I can take my quarter size bit put it right here and I can use this as a bit driver as well and then we have a 5 16 bit driver and you'll notice this little cutout right here and this is made for a small lanyard if you want to put something there or attach it to a key ring but I believe there are actually 12 tools included in this piece and so it's one of those small little tools that you can use for a number of different things, and yet you hardly know it's in your pocket. And actually here is one of the stowaway tools that they do, and they do a number of others, but this is the original configuration. So this will actually clip into your pocket, but this again is one of their smaller ones. And uh, I believe it's Kleckler Knives they collaborated with to make this one. And these run about $40, but I think there's some that run down to about $25. And they have some that are larger that are more expensive. Now here's something that's very unique. And this is the Small Rig Multi-Tool. This is actually, Small Rig makes tools for cameras, camera companies, photographers, things like that. Uh, it has bits on either side, and you take these little arms, and you pop them out, and then you can just roll it out. Now, this one has the hex wrench, and there's two on each side here. You just bring it around and use it. You've got a good leverage on this tool, uh, and then, of course, you have different sizes here. And then, once you're finished, you can just bring that and close it. Uh, on the other side, we have Torx and Phillips head, and these are typical for the photography industry, but there it is, and then we have a Phillips head. Uh, and then here at the back, you just press down and push this forward, and this is excellent for a flathead screwdriver, and it's non-torquing, so you can really get a hold of it and put some pressure on it. It's all aluminum, it's pretty lightweight, except for the tools, the tools obviously are steel. Uh, to close it, there's a little safety right here, and then you can just close it up. Now you'll notice these little holes. This is made to put replacement screws or the different screws you need, and they're threaded. So you can just put your screws in here. And they have a screw pack that you can get as an option to go with this. But uh, I just found this, and I thought it was cool, and so here it is. And these run about $39.99, so under $40. Bucks. Now, I happened to be in PSA recently, and I just saw this, and I thought, that is just kind of cool. Uh, and so this is the... MACV tool or MACV tool, <laughs> however you say it. This has a number of different tools for this small little piece. Uh, in fact, we have a bottle opener here. You have a small little uh, pry bar here at the end and nail puller. Uh, we have a Phillips head here and then we have a flat head on the other side. Uh, we also have a small little seat belt cutter here and then we have a knife sharpener here. And you have a larger flathead screwdriver here. And this does have a carbide sharpener in here. And then we have different hex sizes, 3 8 5 16 and a quarter inch. So, I mean, there are a ton of different features on this really flat little tool. And you can just pack this away. Um, and so, you know, and then also here, we have a quarter inch hex bit driver. So, again, put that little quarter inch in here, pull it down, and you can use it. And so just keeping a few bits together, I mean, it allows for a lot of things. So this is just a pretty cool tool that I saw. Um, I think these run about $14.99. And uh, for a lot of tools, it's all steel, so it's going to hold up. And it's made by SOG. And it has that cool skull on here, if you're into that. Now, this is something that I found at Blade Show in Atlanta this past um, couple of months ago. And this is the Three Key Outfitters MRS Marine Spike. Uh, the Marines use a spike for different things and different tasks. The guy that owns Three Key Outfitters is a Marine. Great guy. We had a great time at their booth. Uh, they make this in the 8-inch, with this is the 8-inch, and they make it in a 6-inch. I personally would have rather had the 6-inch, but a buddy of mine was with me, and so he wanted the 6-inch, and they only had one of each left because they sold them so quickly. And so I took the 8-inch. I have the 6-inch actually on order at this time. But this is a really sturdy spike and there's a lot of uses to this not just as a self-defense tool which when i first saw it that's what i thought about but it's 80 crv2 steel and it's heat treated properly just like you would a knife and so it sits flat because it's squared off on each edge it's not going to just roll around and they've taken bank line and wrapped this up for a handle to make it a little more comfortable but this has resin impregnated in it and it's attached to here and it just keeps it from rusting underneath so this is just really 
to me, this is just such a cool thing. Now, this is a little cover. It's a high-pressure sealed tubing. And what they've done in the bottom is they've stuffed an oil-impregnated felt at the bottom so it doesn't rust your tip. And so when you put it in here, it fits pretty snug. And then when you pull it out, you know, it keeps it protected. And, of course, obviously we have some 550 cord right here. Uh, but one of the things about this that is really unique is you can use this to split wood. Uh, the, the spike really cuts into the wood, and you can use it. Actually, according to these guys, it works better than a wedge. And so that is one great field craft use for it. Also, if you're fishing or you're hunting and you need to take something and you need to pin it down, especially like fishing, uh, you can pin it down with the marine spike and you can clean it a lot easier. And there is a number of other things that this does. It's just a cool little piece. And, you know, sometimes you need to have something for a scribe or you need an awl. I mean, it gives you a lot of different options. And so I like the way this thing covers. And these run about 30 bucks. And again, you can get it in the 6 or the 8 inch. You can get it without the bank line on here if you want. And that's three key outfitters. Now, this is something that I found on GG and G Tactical which they make a lot of different scope mounts and other things. But this is something that was kind of unusual when I saw it. This is their covert defense tool. It's called the Penetrator. And it has a regular cap here, so you can put this in your pocket, and you, it just looks like a pen. But when you take the cap off, <laughs> we've got a Penetrator for sure. This is great for a self-defense tool but it's also good for deflating tires or even emptying containers. If you have containers and you need to empty something, you can puncture it and everything will flow out. And it is hollow all the way through. Now this one is in titanium. Uh, it does have a handle that's some kind of polymer. It's very strong. And so this makes a great self-defense tool as well. Uh, so it just gives you one of those options that's just different in accord to what you're doing, but again, it makes it very covert because you can just put this in your pocket and no one knows the difference. And the price on the GGNG Tactical Covert Defense Tool Penetrator, uh, it's $32.65 and it's on the GNG Tactical website. Now this is the Key Bar Junior, and for years I have carried the standard Key Bar, and this is in copper. In fact, here is my copper Key Bar that's the full size. And I love this. I mean, this has been great. I did pull this kind of out, and I need to replace it. Uh, but these things are great. You just take and pull your keys around, and uh, it's just really simple to be able to use. And I love this. It just keeps your keys in one place. And then you can attach keys here, and I've got a magnet right here that we can just undo this if I want to get in my car. But this is the Junior. It's much smaller. It doesn't have that big end. And then also we have a different type pocket clip that actually fits inside and then comes around. Um, I got this at Blade Show as well, but I know the guys at Key Bar. I've done a number of videos talking about Key Bar because I've just been a fan of these for a long time. So he did hand this to me, and so it's just one of those things. But guys, honestly, I love these, and you can just put your keys in it, and you can fold them out however you want to. So uh, Key Bar... <clears throat> and it comes in a number of different materials, different colors, different, you name it. I mean, you go to the Key Bar website, and there's a ton of different things. Uh, even titanium and anodized aluminum, you name it. And these are all made in Savannah, Georgia, and they do a fantastic job. And the price on just the Key Bar is $44.95. I think the clips run a little bit more, but this is the solid copper. So, you know, the aluminum ones are cheaper, so you can just get on the Key Bar website and check it out. And here we have the Raven Workshop Key Grip. And so you can place your keys in here and just fold them out. It's a little bit of a different setup for your keys. Uh, I haven't actually put my keys on here because I'm such a fan of Key Bar, but I have been planning to put an extra set of keys in here. Uh, the one thing about Raven Workshop is that while they their website, they're not really doing anything right now. They said they're going to get back started, but um, I don't even know the price on these. But this is just something unique and another way to keep your keys. Um, you know, and there's a number of different ways, the Key Smart, and there's other ones that are actually pretty good. So no reason why you can't get your keys organized. And since we're on keys, this is the Helix Keyring by K and MT Craig Hill. It's brass. It's just kind of cool. It's knurled on one end so you can unscrew it, put your keys on there, especially if you want to take them on and off, and then you've got a key ring. So just another cool design. It's solid brass. 
just unique. I don't have a price on this. I believe I got these at Urban EDC Supply. And there were a number of things actually that I ordered at one time. So uh, you can check out UrbanEDCSupply.com. Guys, this is just something that I picked up on eBay. It's a brass spike and it's just really cool looking to me. <laughs> and that's the reason I bought it. It's got the finger grooves. So you can really get a good grip on it. I like the texturing back here, lanyard hole. Very weighty because it is brass. And then there's some kind of design on this part right here at the tip. And so you can use this for a number of different things. Uh, I think even as a scribe, if you want to mark something. But uh, obviously this is more of a self-defense tool if you live in a really bad area. And guys, with all these type tools, just make sure you check your local laws. Here I have the shirepost.com. <laughs> I win, you lose. I win, you lose. This is a definite winner. If you want to win, no matter what, <laughs> this is the coin to have. And I really got this for fun. Uh, you know, you can make a choice and say, okay, what are you going to do? Let's flip a coin. And so either way, you're going to win. <laughs> this is just fun. But uh, ShirePost.com, I think I actually got this through Urban EDC Supply as well. But um, this is just a cool little coin. I think they run about 10 bucks. So it's not made out of nickel. And uh, just one of those fun things. Plus, it has the skull. Now, this is a favorite of mine. And this is uh, Tango Yankee, which means thank you in radio jargon uh, with the military. This is a chip. And it's the Tango Yankee chip website. Uh, this is actually a buddy of mine, Daniel Shaw, veteran, solid guy. I got to know him through Gun Mag Warehouse. But uh, this is a coin that you give to people who have made an impact on you. Or you've seen somebody do something that's really just outstanding. It says, be the one to recognize kindness, Tango Yankee. What you do in this life matters. And it's one of those coins that you just give as a sense of gratitude towards someone. And so Daniel actually sent me a couple of these, and I just thought the idea was so cool. I mean, it is just a standard poker chip. And, you know, I have given these out to a number of different people, including my sons, including different friends of mine, uh, you know, if they make a difference in my life. And guys, I'll tell you one thing about this coin. You know, it just seems like there's so much anger and hate out there. I don't know what's going on. And our manners have gone to the wind. And so to me, this is just a symbol of bringing back civility and just really respecting people and a sense of gratitude. And that's at TangoYankeeChip.com. In fact, I bought a whole bag of these to give out, and I've given out a number of them. So guys, if you want to up your EDC, if you want to do something different, I mean, maybe this will give you some ideas, but there are so many other choices and things out there. Uh, it's just incredible. So get your EDC how you want it. And if you want to up your game, I hope this gives you some ideas. So guys, again, just a lot of EDC choices. You can make your life better if these are some items that you feel like you can benefit from. You know, if you're just ready to stick with what you have, that's fine too. Because that just gives you more for guns and prepping and everything else. But, you know, if you like the EDC, you know, it's something that you carry on your person every day and it's something you use, and when you need something, it's right there at your fingertips, then maybe something that we've been showing might just be something where you go, ah, I had never thought about that. That's cool, I need it. <laughs> but if not, guys, you know, you can stick with your knives, stick with your flashlights and your normal EDC, and that's fine too if it works for you. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And then when you finish, just slide it in. It does fit in here very easily, but of course behind the camera, I'm gonna have a problem. Now this is the V2 Precision. <clears throat> Let's do all that all over. I like the copper, in fact, I'm... and unfortunately, I have no idea what the price is. Let me look and see. Not at all.